I'm making a beautiful little tuna tartare today. I like looking at it in its raw stage, then figure out how do I get to the end stage. I'm gonna get the smoke happening in my salamander. It's gonna add such a wonderful accent. What makes me excited about food is the fact that I have the opportunity to make somebody happy. Put a little bit of olive oil and a touch of salt and a touch of pepper on there right now. The philosophy I live by is literally making food as simple and easy as possible. Let that smoke perfume right into the middle of that tuna and get a beautiful kiss to flavor of smoke. My background is that I come from Jamaica. We migrated to Canada in 1970. What made me interested in food was my grandmother. I watched her cooking, I watched her passion, and I felt, you know, this was something I really wanted to do. Less than a splash, because that flavor permeates and goes right through. But my older brother took over the cooking in my house. He was going up buying different fish that weren't traditionally West Indian for us and cooking them in different ways. So I'll take just a little bit of that tartare, pile it nicely on each cucumber round. I really love the balance of flavors right now. These people who I admired as a child are my inspiration today. Finish it off, a nice little deep fried shallot. Food should be the easiest thing on the planet. We all have to do it. Just some of us do it better than others. Let's start grilling the asparagus. Just make sure that you get a nice and crispy exterior, okay? You go for it, all right? Awesome. Cooking for my students is kind of the biggest high I can get because it's interactive, it's immediate. Very good job. When I'm in the zone, it's not that you're working with a recipe anymore. You're literally just working off of instinct. Make sure you have enough room in between so that they can breathe, okay? So and when you've been cooking as long as I have, that's the only way that you really can cook. My children, the love that I get from them, that's the only thing that drives me. Don't overcook, cook it perfectly. My food has taken me around the world in 64 different countries somebody has seen me cooking on television. But I'm thinking that people that watch me can see the spark in my eye and they can see that I'm genuine about what I do. My name is Rob Rainford and this is Life Through My Eyes.